The following is for mature audiences only. Viewer discretion is advised. Welcome back, guys, to Silent Hill 3. Okay, so last we had left off, uh, we ran into some really weird diary entries with notes from a guy named Stanley Coleman, who seems to be stalking us, uh, lurking about in this, uh, in the Brookhaven Hospital. I don't know exactly what his intentions are. We don't know, uh, where he is, what he looks like. We just know that he's, I don't know, always one step ahead of us. Uh, now, I think what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the map. And we, okay, I went the wrong way. We need to go to the left side of the day room towards that restroom by the stairs. We have to go get a key now. So we can get uh, access to the stairwell. Um, I already looked at the map and completely forgot what I was supposed to be doing. Okay, yep, this is the right way. Are there enemies in here? Where am I? Okay, I'm not hearing anything. Okay, so this door is blocked off. Lock is broken. We're gonna do our due diligence and inspect every door along the way. Okay. 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 Oh, Jesus! Ooh, got me. Oops. Oh, barely. Look at that head. Okay, it is super dead. Alright. Oh, there's nothing even in here, is there? Dang, walked into a total trap this time. It's all right. Uh, drink that. We have plenty of these health health things. We got a lot. There is nothing in here of value. That's really annoying. Nothing. It's all right. We got our handy any shotgun to cover us anyway. I'm just double checking to make sure there's nothing around the room that I am missing. One thing that's weird about these games is the textures for objects. Sometimes they blend in. Uh, very well with the environment. Okay, nobody in here. So I always want to double check when I'm clicking on just in case. Oh, here's the key. And another entry from Stanley Coleman. Now, no spoilers or anything. I was reading up on Stanley Coleman um, just to sort of know a little bit about this, the history of this character. Uh, if you happen to be playing the game, um, just know that if you don't find the first diary journal entry or whatever from him, the rest of them don't show up. So it's just kind of a fun little thing to track all these down. We've got all of them so far, um, and I think there's, I don't know, there's at least one more, but uh, just, just be aware that if you miss the first one, you miss them all. The organization has me shut up in here. They mean to break my will to make me forget about all that. But I'll stay sane even if they throw me in here with the lunatics. How about if I stick this to the wall? That would be worthless. You can peel it off, can't you? With that junk, those nasty wenches won't stop using? Hmm. If a thing has no meaning, there's no reason for it to exist at all, just as you exist for me. But why haven't you taken my doll with you? Ah, uh, my gift must have embarrassed you. How cute you are, Heather. Don't really know what he's talking about. Okay, there are a lot of uh, things stuck to the wall. Uh, a cookie, a toothbrush, a spoon, a Christmas card, a clock. Whoever it was probably used glue, but why did this in the first place? Crazy. Okay, so yep, so pencil, cookie, spoon, toothbrush, something else I can't see, maybe another cookie. Uh, obviously the key, Christmas card, some sort of memo in the top left, and their pencil, uh, and then the beetle. So there's a key glued to the wall. I'd love to take it with me, but it's really stuck tight. Can you pull it off? Okay, so this is the stairwell key. And as you would surmise, uh, I think this is this? Yeah, nail polish remover. This takes off nail polish. I found it in the women's locker room. That's how you pop the key off. Loosen it up here. Cool. So we got that. Is there anything else in here? I don't think so. The fixed camera angles make it difficult to navigate around, but whatever. Okay. Is this door open? Nope. Uh, we might be able to go in there. Oh wait, no, this one's actually blocked off, huh? Yeah. 
Did we check all the doors here? I feel like there was one that I missed. Was this a memo from dad? Yeah, right there. Notebook, rather. Okay, so we've checked everything. Um, C4, C3, C2, C1. Okay, so we're all good. So that should take us now to the stairwell. is this one. There we go. Very nice. I found that playing Silent Hill, the stairs are like the safest places in the game. I don't think I've ever been jumped or attacked in a stairwell that I can remember. Tippy tap, tip, wait, is that 3F or 2? Unnecessary game. Unnecessary, that BS. 3F. We don't need to go there just yet. We need to go up to the top. We'll go to 3F after the fact. What do we got here? Another Stanley Coleman book. There we go. I also like the rooftop. It makes me want to fly. You too? Stanley Coleman. I just double check to make sure this is the door. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Oops. Is there another one up here? Oh, they're dead. Forgot about those guys. Okay, reload. Let's go to supplies. I am curious as to how much more we have of this. 20 shots. Not good. We got 115, so we're going to go ahead and reload. Yeah, we'll save the shotguns for everything else. So far, all the enemies have been relatively easy to defeat. What do we have here? Submachine gun? Damn. All right. What else is up here? Anything else interesting? This thing looks like a... Ah, never mind. Okay, I don't think there's anything else here. So we came from that door. Is this open? I don't think it is. Yeah. <laughs> I swear, like, 50% or more of the horror from this game comes from the fact that it's super freaking foggy. for 3F. I think we got some threats here. No? Okay, good. Okay, let's evaluate on El Mapo. Probably should be using something other than guns, but I don't care. Okay, where am I? Um, there's an elevator. There's the stairs, the day room, which we'll check out. We'll go through this door in a minute and go to the restroom, and we'll take a look at the rest of those rooms there. I swear, it's so hard. If you watch my videos closely, I'm like messing with my nose every single time. It's like, do you remember as a kid when you were playing hide and go seek and all of a sudden like you have to pee really bad? That's how I am when I'm like making videos. Oh, oops, didn't mean to do that. Totally wasted a shot. Here's a save point. We're not gonna use that yet. Oh, another book from Stanley. Stun gun battery and health drink. I haven't used that yet, the stun gun. There's a good variety, but nothing I would need. <laughs> One thing. But yeah, like every time I play a video, I'm like, oh my god, is there a booger in my nose? Is there a hair? Like, I'm just doing nuts. Can't help it. I'm recording. I never edit out, like, these sorts of things. So, I don't know. Anyway, whatever. Continue. Uh, Heather, my most sacred lover, uh, I'm always watching you, no matter where you are or what you may be doing. I have never lost sight of you. I know you feel intensely lonely, yet with a single key to this door, those feelings won't stand in the way any longer. We haven't been able to see each other for so long. Be patient. It's just a little longer. I'll be patient, too, even though... I long to hold you in these hands of mine. Key is behind the shelves in the underground garage. Why there? Ask that idiot doctor. 
underground garage. There's not a single person here who's right in the head, not just in this hospital, I mean in all of Silent Hill, except me. Very interesting. Okay, we'll come back and save it after. I want to look through the rest of these rooms. I don't think there's anything here that I need, though. Boxes are empty, whatever. I was expecting a bad guy to be in this room, and I was wrong, and I just, like, pulled off a shot for no reason. <laughs> whoops. Whoops, whoops. Okay, we'll check the elevator in the day room. I don't know if the elevator works. Oh, Jesus. Okay, it does. I have to actually choose a floor to get out, which is very frustrating to me. I'm probably just going to hit the, op the door open button. If this was Resident Evil, I swear zombie arms would pop out of these wooden planked windows. Okay, so there's that. Checked that one. So dumb. I wish I could remember things. Where am I? Okay, so that door is blocked. That one's covered off. I can go in the elevator. We got went in the storeroom where the save point is. I didn't. Why is a save point not in there or showing up? It's weird. I'll check the special treatment room. I got a feeling there's going to be stuff in here. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. There's a memo on the wall. Punishment for brutality towards patient. 12 hours confinement in the special treatment room. Dismissal policy no longer in effect. Contact the chief if you have any questions. There's something handwritten on top of the typewritten sentence. The trick is not to leave any marks. And one other thing, this looks like it was written by a different person. The chief is a pervert. Christy would have been better off if she had been fired. Weird. One more time to review the map. I forgot I had that giant piece. Okay, so we have special treatment room. One, two, three, four rooms in here. I don't know which ones we can actually get access to, but I'll check them all. Not that one. Okay, that one we'll get no in. That one we can't. I know one of these has an enemy in it. Okay, we'll read this first, then we'll go to that unlocked door there. Must be the one that has the bad guy in there. Flowing freely, your ebony hair like the night sky, scattering fragrance, my heart clamoring in my chest like a storm, you trifle with it. Your pristine glance like a feast, when you smile, my thoughts disturbed, my breath like opium, it drives me mad. Eric, a great poet who conveys my feelings so well. I shouldn't have let this place get to me, should never have gone crazy, but it's superbly enjoyable to drown in my love for you. But why won't you accept proof of my love? Don't stand on ceremony now. After all, you and I exist as one. What I give to you is the same as what I give to me. Stanley Coleman. What is this freaking psycho talking about? It also makes you wonder, like, how is he getting ahead of us? And is that the same doll every single time? If you go back to the spots after you've read those journals, uh, they disappear. So I was worried that if I entered this room and then I left without reading it, that it would disappear. Um, which is why I wanted to go and check that one out before this one. Got a bad guy in here, I know it. Dang, got me. That was a remarkable, remarkable amount of shots. I can't believe it. It did so much damage. Also annoying that there's nothing in here of use for us to grab. No clues, no notes, no health drinks, no ammo. Unbelievable. Total BS, by the way. Uh, we need to go the other way. Okay. I thought the, the handgun did more damage to these fools, but apparently not. I don't remember unloading so much. Okay, so we're going to go to the left. And round out what's going on in this floor. Oh, it's another passcode. Wait, what? Actually, I don't know this passcode. I don't remember what we got to do here. There's something somewhere. Nope, that's not right. Nope, I don't know. Okay, we'll have to find out where that passcode is. That's one thing I don't remember. What have we done on this floor? Okay, so I can't get there yet. 
Let's flip around here for a second. Hmm. So I can't get to where I need to go. Well, there's the elevator and the stairs, huh? So I might be able to get in that way, maybe? I don't remember. I actually do not know what this code is or where the clue would be. The last time I ran into a passcode situation, the clue was right here, but there's nothing around. Okay, let's save it for good measure. But we'll keep looking. While playing on easy, which I know I'm playing on easy, there's something off on the wall that was ripped off. Um, they usually give you like a bigger clue on what the code is. Okay. Let's keep on looking around for that. Let's see, what's this about? Oh. Well, let me, it won't let me look at it. What? It won't let me look at it, but that is curious though, isn't it? It's a good variety of nothing I mean. Okay. I don't think I have anything on me that is of major use. Let me go back to that locked door. I want to look at that again. I mean, it could be anything. It's a four-digit code. There's a lot of combos here. Is there anything written on the wall? The buttons don't look like there's any hints or clues on them. Okay, so I got to find that clue. Don't actually know where that's at. Okay, let's see about what we can do. Jeez. Hold on, let me look at my map real quick and see what we've got. I think the first floor had some stuff that we, do, that we didn't do, but this is where my memory kind of falls apart on me here. Can't go in the day room from there. Third floor. Oh, okay, so if you look down in the second floor down below, we can't actually get the elevator or the stairs to get up there. Wait. What about the first floor? Oh, first floor is blocked off as well. So we can't go anywhere in here. Where did I miss that? Okay, so take a look. On the right side, everything is blocked off. You can go through the stairs. Or I'm sorry, the door by the stairs. I can go down, but everything on the first floor that I have access to is completely blocked. Okay, can't go there. The BF, though, on the other hand bottom floor. Uh, looks like there's some stuff that I need to go do down there. So the first floor is completely tapped out. I don't think there's anything I can do there. Second floor, we've covered that in great detail. There's nothing in there. Third floor has a section that requires a code that I don't know off the top of my head. That's all we got. Okay, so the B is where we gotta go. That's the only place at this point. And then hopefully that will give us the code to where we need to go. Uh. Wait, am I, what am I doing wrong here? Okay, so we go to one. Why didn't, uh, why didn't B work? Let's try this again. B doesn't work. Hmm. Okay. There's a little bit more uh, detail that we're going to need here, huh? All right. Well, we're getting close to that 20 minute mark. So I think what we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll wrap it up for now. We'll continue on with Silent Hill 3 tomorrow, and we'll figure out where I missed that particular code. Oh, God, these guys scared me. I forgot they were here. So we'll figure it out. But for now, we're just going to go ahead and call it a do. I'll see you guys tomorrow when we continue to play through a Silent Hill 3 right here on the Mark 9 channel, part of the Mark After Dark segment of the channel. Before you go, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Helps me out when you do that, and it uh, means a lot to me as well. If you have any comments or feedback, leave it down in the comment section, of course, and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. But no spoilers, obviously, so don't do that. But uh, 
Regardless, if there's uh, anything you want to say, get it off your chest. Let me know, and I'll get back to you. Either way, uh, either way, I'll see you guys tomorrow when we continue um, with new episodes each and every evening at 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, part of the Mark After Dark segment of the channel. All right, guys, take care. Be well. See you later.